Chapter 40 Samuel the Lamanite tells about Jesus Christ. The Lamanites obeyed God's commandments. They became more righteous than the Nephites. Samuel, a Lamanite prophet, went to Zarahemla to preach to the wicked Nephites. He told them to repent. The Nephites threw Samuel out of the city, and he started going back to his own land. But the Lord told Samuel to return to Zarahemla and tell the people the things that the Lord would put into his heart. The Nephites would not let Samuel back into the city, so he climbed to the top of the city wall and preached from there. He prophesied that the Nephites would be destroyed in 400 years unless the people repented and had faith in Jesus Christ. Samuel told the Nephites that Jesus Christ would be born in five years and that he would save all those who believed in him. Samuel told them about the signs of Jesus' birth. A new star would appear, and the night before Jesus would be born, it would not get dark. Then Samuel told them the signs of Jesus' death. There would be three days of total darkness. The sun, moon, and stars would not shine. There would also be thunder and lightning and earthquakes. Mountains would crumble, and many cities would be destroyed. Some Nephites believed Samuel and repented of their sins. They went to find Nephi, a righteous Nephite, who could baptize them. The rest of the Nephites did not believe Samuel. They threw rocks and shot arrows at him. But the Lord protected him, and none of the rocks or arrows hit him. When the people saw he could not be hit, many more believed him and went to Nephi to be baptized. Nephi also taught the people about Jesus. He wanted them to believe in Jesus, repent, and be baptized. Most Nephites, however, did not believe Samuel. They tried to capture him. Samuel jumped down from the wall and ran to his own country. Samuel began teaching the Lamanites. He was never heard of again among the Nephites.